Now, the cockatoo that could hold the key to one day curing cancer. It's a big claim, but a WA farmer is winning praise for his incredible discovery. First, he found that cockies are natural insect repellents, and as Mark Gibson reports, that set him off on a path of scientific discovery. I think it is incredible, the wonders of Mother Nature. Sam, the sulphur-crested cockatoo, is no ordinary bird. Sam's feathers have the potential to save lives. So here's the famous Sam, huh? It certainly is. Hello, Sam. So what happens when you pat the feathers like that, you get that residue, do you? If you look on there, you can see the white. Yeah. It's just the powder that comes off them. That's what actually contains those compounds. And that's the powder. And that's the magic right there. That's what it's all about. It all started nine years ago. John Chamberlain was hard at work in this old Boddington shearing shed when he noticed the flies were swarming over the sheep and every other animal except Sam the cockatoo. Well, I looked across at the bird and noticed there was a zone around the bird with no flies on the bird at all, uh, which made me start to wonder. John contacted a scientist at Curtin University who tested some feathers. And we didn't really get much out of those couple of feathers. He's actually he's quite disappointed, and so was I. So he said, well, John, put the bird in the cage and bring the bird up to the university. So he did, and after soaking Sam's feathers in alcohol, they discovered that the naturally occurring powder contained powerful compounds. At that stage, about 50-odd compounds we found. Uh, and, and since then, we've repeated the process, we've refined a lot, and now we know we've got 130 compounds. Uh, which came out of the bird. What's inside these two jars came from just one bird. Now, the actual extraction process is a closely guarded secret because if it all pans out, this could be an absolute gold mine. So, nine years later, I had a lot of money spent <laughs> uh, trying different things. We've come up with a product that repels lice and flies off sheep. The insect repellent is 99.9% .9 effective and should be on the market by next year. Aren't you a clever bird, huh? But that's just half the story. John discovered that the cocky concoction was also effective on skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis and shingles. I've been thinking about it the whole time. I knew it kills bacteria, I knew it has an effect on viruses. And logically I thought, well, what would it do to a cell? So Sam went back to the science lab, was tested on some melanoma cells. The results were nothing short of staggering. They ran me up a week later fairly excited, but we certainly have something with an anti-cancer activity. John Chamberlain has formed a company called Cocky Smart. So we'll send them off to Ag Research and wait for the results back. He and his management team stress that these are early days, but they firmly believe cures for skin cancer, breast cancer, even brain tumours are a real possibility. Something comes out in the news and on the news will say, we have this breakthrough. And when we go and examine the breakthrough, it might prolong somebody's life for a few months. Um, we're not really looking at that path. The path we're looking for is a cure. It's pretty amazing that something that seems so simple um, would have such far-reaching implications and such potential outcomes, both in uh, not only animal but human health as well. Daniela Mathies is from the Department of Commerce, which was so excited by Cocky Smart, it awarded the company a $20,000 grant. Cocky Smart was a fantastic initiative and the independent panel that assesses all the um, applicants uh, felt that it had fantastic social and economic benefits, in particular in the agricultural sector for Western Australia. The next step is animal trials due to start later this year. Mice will be injected with cancer cells and Cocky Smart will be put to work. Now, if it works, which we believe it will work, uh, no reason why it won't at this point, They'll then sacrifice those animals and then they will check to see that, OK, they all haven't had brain uh, bleeds or they haven't had heart attacks or they've got lung disease. In other words, to make sure it's a safe product. Cockatoos live for 150 years, so Sam might just see a cure for cancer in his lifetime. A cocky and his cocky on the verge of a major scientific breakthrough. Imagine if you had an apple, you had one bite of the apple, that's all we've done so far. There's so much more to come. It takes time, effort, money, research, and that's what the company's dedicated itself to do. We'll keep you up to date with John's progress. Mark Gibson reporting there.